collaboration, me and Abdullah. This is our team, it's uh, starting from my name and uh, Samina, Hawaii and uh, Ahmed uh, Abdurrahman and Hazim Hassan and uh, Maryam Jamal. The first but it's maybe some of the but it's mix of between engineering, collaboration and uh, training. Uh, we select the challenge, it's a lack of uh, commitment, passion of the GDA members. Actually, we start with the engagement, which is mean accountability, leadership uh, drive, external motivation we mean, self-motivation, uh, inspiration, recognition, which is rewards. Actually, we break down those uh, challenges or lack of co commitment based on the name of the commitment. Yeah, I will leave this floor for uh, Ms. Amina to talk about the next slide. Thank you, Abdul Aziz. Uh, thank you for this opportunity. I would like just to start my uh, clarification as we are uh, group number nine and we have football uh, and polls here and Mr. Bassam uh, on his opening speech he showed us very interesting video, uh, video clips about GCC um, match, old one. Because we are number nine, can I ask who is supporting Barcelona and who is supporting Real Madrid? Can I see hands? Real Madrid? I, I think you, would, you will not like this quote anyway. There is a guy, his, I will tell you his quote before I tell you who is this. I'm not going to give up if people think I'm going to give up. I'm still here and I'm still hungry for trophies. This is Karim Benzema, number nine. Okay, back to the slide. As uh, my brother Abdelaziz mentioned, we want to lead innovation by leading innovation. So even in, on our way to, to solve the, the challenge we have selected, we try to, we try to be motivated, uh, creative in our way of displaying the challenge. So, we have seen that the lack we are facing can easily be solved by commitment. And the word commitment itself, it's very general word. Okay, so very easy to talk about commitment, creativity, innovation, to be a trendy word, but it will not take us for any step. So that's why we cut it to a steps. First of all, CO for cooperative, MM to maximize motivation, and IT for innovative thinking, and MINT for mentality. To solve the engagement issue, which is the accountability, by, say, by being cooperative is we think we should really have time management. Because the time management will enable us to know what is our step now what, where, and where we should be tomorrow. More initiatives, real initiatives, not just to have an initiative for the purpose of having initiative. And this is what we see in the most of the conferences, with all my respect for this conference, from my humble experience, and I need to say that this is one of the most innovative conferences I've attended. Number two, leadership drive and external motivation. Our brother, Mr. Bader, he told me sometimes it's good to be late because I was telling him when we will start. And he said sometimes it's good for you to wait and to be late, and I agree because we wait and our leadership team joined us. And we need you to solve the lack we are facing in, in, in commitment and in passion. Because your involvement will enable us to go forward, to work to get, to get together closely and to know what we are thinking. Because from your experience and from, let's say, our creativity, when we integrate it together and we link it together, we can reach for our, for our goal. So, leadership drive by the external motivation, which is yourself. We, you will lead by example, so we, we, we need your involvement. The second point is 
Sometimes, especially for our field in the oil, gas, and, uh, in the oil, uh, oil and gas um, field, it's always when we mention innovation and the creativity, they count it as a hobby or interest. They don't count it like if somebody come with a, came with an idea and he went to his manager or whatever, they see it as time lost or something. They don't consider it as a, as as a, as an opportunity to solve something. But some, so that's why we sometimes need to force this kind of initiative to be part of the job responsibility. This is the time now, and you are behind. Unfortunately, we are the GC, in the GCC countries. We need to be frank. We are behind in terms of innovation, the real innovation. So next, innovative thinking uh, by spread culture of innovation and design thinking, nobility and intellectual properties, which is patents and all these things. The numbers of patents in um, in the oil and gas sector within the GCC. It's really low. We are working to enhance and to increase these numbers, but still, still we can double this number or even treble it. Mentality, and we are here talking about the thanks and the thanks mentality and the the thanks points it. So we cannot go ahead without recognition, because we as a GDE, I'm not, but I'm trying to imagine myself if I'm a GDE member, like, we need your recognition. Any voluntary job, uh, voluntary job need your recognition, your direct and fast recognition. And the last thing is, we need more inspirational and success stories. Because easily when we hear the success story can be inspired and challenge ourselves to increase these numbers of success stories for the next, and the next, uh, initiatives and conferences. And this is not our quote, this is our friend, Oscar de la Renta. He said, things never happen on accident. They happen because you have vision, you have a commitment, you have a dream. I will leave you here and thank you very much. <laughs> Now I would like to invite group number seven. We are making the sequence for the faster team. Whoever finishes his presentation first, we are presenting them. So, Assalamu uh, alaikum. This is Abdelaziz from Sator. Uh, I'm representing team number seven. Uh, we, chose, we chose the uh, challenge, lack of commitment of GDA members and uh, the uh, participation also. So we defined the uh, problem in three uh, questions. Why we have the lack of commitment? Who could be the reason or participating in the lack of commitment? And how we can uh, define the uh, lack of commitment and how we can solve the lack of commitment? So why we have the lack of commitment? Uh, committee, uh, we believe that, in team number seven, that we, have the, we should have a committee's mission which defines the objectives for each committee. And after that, we have a KPIs to measure the achievements to, to these uh, objectives. So if we have objectives and we measure how far we go in these objectives, and we could reach to, to our uh, goal, which is reducing the lack of commitment. Uh, who could participate or who could uh, initiate the lack of commitment? So, we believe that SPOCs and SMEs sh should have the right profile and motivation. Uh, this, the participation of GDA could be uh, the int uh, interv to interview the SMEs and SPOCs in order to have the right profile and could add a value to, to the GDA uh, committee. How we, can, uh, uh, how we can reduce this lack of commitments? Uh, we require to an active participation with a signed uh, and agreed plan. For example, uh, we could have a, a plan or agenda uh, on the annual basis where the, uh, the members or the company members, they can uh, host the, uh, the biannual or the uh, quarterly meetings in order to have an active participation. 
Also, we could have the recognition for active individuals, so on the GDA platforms, for example, in LinkedIn or on the website, so they have the uh, recognition from, from the GDA or from the board members, uh, where they can be also, sh this uh, recognition could be shared with respective companies or the executive management of the, ex of the companies. The doability of all these uh, solutions, we believe that the implementation uh, as soon as possible, since they are low-hanging fruits, so it can be achieved immediately after the endorsement of the GDA, GDA uh, board members uh, and to get, after getting their support. Uh, it, we could measure the improvement of, of the participation every six months or on an annual basis in order to measure and evaluate the progress of these uh, uh, solutions to, to reduce the lack of commitment in the GDA participation in all the uh, aspects. We don't, uh, thank you, this is the presentation for the lack of commitment. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. And uh, now I would like to invite uh, group number two, I think they call themselves Rasta Noura group. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, first of all, I would like to introduce our team, team two, Rasta Noura. My name is uh, Fatin Taqi. I'm senior process engineer in uh, Quebec, Azor refinery, Kuwait. Our team is uh, Mr. Ryan from Aramco and uh, EG from JCCP, and uh, Rachel from E3, Abdurrahman from Babco, uh, myself and David from Aramco. Actually, we select uh, the most selected uh, item or challenge today is about uh, lack of uh, commitment and uh, passion of uh, GDA members. We recognize that there is a lot of uh, miscommunication and uh, uh, lack of commitment of some of the SME, our members. Uh, sometimes it is uh, by, by force because of uh, a lot of engagement at work. Uh, so engagement in com uh, committees meetings, some of them they are not attending the meeting due to the engagement in other works. Uh, some members uh, frequent uh, changes without a replacement, so they will keep a gap uh, on the, on the committee itself without a replacement. Management uh, buy-in, uh, this is one of the challenge we are facing. Uh, and disconnect between the SME and the SPOC. So our proposed solution is uh, earn your uh, spot. How we can do that? This can be uh, doable by, first of all, selection of the SME. We propose that uh, the selection of SME, the, the criteria itself for the evaluation should be revisited uh, annually, maybe, or periodical. Uh, for the selection of SME, they will propose from the company to nominate an SME for each the technology, the, co the committee, technology committee, uh, technical committee, sorry. And then we propose that the GDA themselves, they will evaluate the selected or nominated SME uh, in the interview maybe to select uh, if the SME he is suitable or not suitable. So first of all, the proposal will come from the company itself, then the uh, interview and the final evaluation by GDA members itself. Then uh, we propose to have a pointing system for example, uh, in participation of any of the meetings, committee meetings, he will get a point uh, contribution to that meeting. Also, he will get like a pointing system with awarding or recognition for that SME himself. And also, it can be linked as a company-wise. For example, he will get like a free seats for the training sessions who, uh, which was uh, conducted by GDA. So they will get some benefits of the company and SME himself. Then uh, the rotation of the roles and responsibility. We know for each uh, technical uh, committee, there is a head and deputy head, and the role is very clear for both of them. But we need also to engage the other members to have a dedicated role, and it can be a rotation basis to make all active in the member. 
Then uh, we saw the final one, it's really an, uh, uh, critical. Uh, the communication between the SME spoke and the management of the company, the, the company participating. So once we have that regular or routine uh, meetings and update for the management, they will feel how the urgent of the GDA and the member being a member in the GDA, how, what, what is the beneficial of being a member in GDA between the management and the company and the SPOC and the SME. In this way, we will get the support from our companies, from our SPOC and to be very active and we have something to update them in a regular meeting. This is actually our proposal and uh, idea. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Fatin. Now, next, Jabal Dukhan. Uh, so, our team, uh, Jabal Dukhan, uh, is uh, me, uh, Jad, uh, from Accents. Uh, we have uh, Hazem from uh, Saudi Aramco, uh, Mohammed Saif from SPSP, uh, Tomohiro from Idimetsu, and uh, Munif from Babco. <coughs> so, we chose to, uh, the subject to maximize the participation in the GDA conference. In fact, what are the proposed solutions for maximizing the participation in the conference? Uh, first of all, we, we have to tackle the marketing and the communication uh, uh, to improve it uh, by improving the branding, social media activities, uh, also include the short explanation videos uh, in the website or in the banners that we will uh, produce. Uh, we need to attract more sponsors, and it could be also out of the oil and gas industry, not necessarily in the oil and gas industry. Uh, we need to uh, advertise through different uh, digital screens, uh, include university students, and also include uh, entertainment uh, activities. So basically how we will do it, Okay, so first of all, uh, what we can do, what we have to do is that each member uh, should, post, uh, should post the event banner at their personal account. So we know today that it is not really done, so this is the first thing that we need to do, that all the members should post uh, the banner on their account. Uh, also, each technology provider should post the banner on their uh, on their uh, on their uh, on their account in fact on linkedin One minute. and in the offices One minute. yeah in the offices uh, we need to open the sponsorship to all the other uh, non oil and gas uh, companies uh, we need to sponsor the adver advertisement on uh, linkedin uh, provide free seats for companies outside the gcc region uh, discount prices for hotels and their ticket for attendees, so maybe it's, uh, we can see, maybe uh, it's uh, known, uh, it's a marketing, uh, but it could help, in fact, to, to bring more, uh, more attendees. Uh, we can invite speakers and extend the invitation for other, other industries, such as petrochemical, aluminium, nuclear plant, and academic, by inviting also university students. Uh, we can include the competition and games uh, within the, uh, the GDA conference for the participants. Uh, we can use also the robot, robotics to welcome, uh, for the welcome service and the Time information at the event. And finally, we can introduce some entertainment like a classical music band, uh, which is well known by the public at the opening ceremony. Thank you. I would like to invite uh, Team Lahsa. Assalamu alaikum wa sakallahu wa alkhair. As'ad Allah ayyamukum jami'an. First, before I start, if you don't mind, I would like to, I will say, uh, welcome the management, the board of management. I am very happy to see faces that I haven't seen for a long time. Tahiyyakum Allah jami'an wa as'ad Allah ayyamukum. Tab'an, uh, the selection of Al-Hassani came, came for two reasons. One, uh, for all our audience to know that Al-Hassan has the largest oil field, which is Al-Ghawar. At the second time, Alhamdulillah, we have been blessed with the new discovery of Al Jafura field where we'll have unconventional resources that will make a very big shallow drive to the country. And as you know, we'll have inshallah Al Jafura almost more than 100 billion dollars of program coming in the coming 10 years. The second reason for selecting Al Hassa, 
because of our colleague Abu Faisal. Okhona al-Aziz Tariq Naim, the president and CEO of Lobrif, who is sponsoring this gathering for, the coming, for these two days. Or, and we need to thank you for that. And I am proud to be of Al-Hassa as well. So, I'm going to show you a bias, but that is seven. Three minutes. And this is our team, Haifa uh, Al-Marzouki, Ahmad Al-Mahaysen from Saudi Aramco, Division Head, Haifa Al-Marzouki from Babco, Ghali Al-Azmi from KNBC, and Turkish Sarehi from Lubrif, and Abdul Rahman Norwali from Lubrif. So the influence of the name of Faisal. Of course, we thought that the lack of commitment of and the passion of GDA members is a continuing issue and we thought to address it. And we were thinking of what could be the reasons. We selected 12 reasons, and then we rationalized the, the reason to one. And we selected the absence of benefit realization. In our view, in our discussion, with, especially with the service provider, technology provider, other associate members, they, they don't see the value that they can realize themselves. Instead, they could see it for the founding member more. So we thought to do maybe quick yani, one solutions or something that worth to, to address. One, inshallah, to rotate technical committee chairs, not only f to that founding member, but also you have to include the others. And we started already with one or two committees in the GDA. The second item is to hold engagement at non-founding member locations. Usually we go to the founding members and we, meet, we do our meetings. I think we need to do something. A third one, to hold awareness campaign on GDA. GDA, model, benefits, potentials in the future. Uh, we have what we call a JEEP program, Gulf Employee Exchange program that has been in hold. We are seeking the board also support to take this into, inshallah, motion that we can exchange our employees for uh, uh, assignments in the GCC. We need to include GDA contribution part of the BNB system. And I think we have some people that they lack the understanding of their supervisors or management to let them focus on the GDA. And last but not least, to issue in a quarterly basis GDA achievements paper in magazine and to be distributed among all GDA members. Shukran, thank you very much. Thank you. Next, Fariq Al Gawar. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Haifa al Yoha, team leader, talent management and leadership development from KPC Kuwait. I'm representing group six today. Our name is Al Qawwar. The name is related to the uh, magnitude of the field that is in Saudi Arabia. Okay, so this is just a vision on how large is Al Qawwar. The team members, I'm not going to take much time, it's already there on the board. And we are different members from different, let's say, backgrounds and companies. Selected challenge, of course, we selected lack of interest and commitment and passion of GDA members. Why is that? Well, the main contributors, we believe that there are three parameters that we need to look at. First of all, it's GDA. Second, it's the companies of the members. And last, they are the members themselves. We chose to select on the main as we can see, triangle, which is GDA, the head of the triangle. The proposed solution, we had a lot of solutions, but we selected and we agreed that we're going to concentrate on GDA. And why do we do that? Well, the first thing is the question about what? Increase GDA involvement and enhance the marketing. How we are going to do that? First of all, create evaluation, like the 360 degree One evaluation. Minute. And recognition criteria for members. Of course, everyone here as members, they know that we have this lack of recognition happening. Second, ensure proper handover for the new members. Like every member that is joining GDA, we need to do like a kit to be given for the new members. It's just to make sure they are familiar on what's coming ahead. Third, we have create procedure for member rotation. Of course, as of now, we don't have any rotation schemes for the members across the different committees. Fourth is communicate achievements, receive feedback, and affirm objectives of the committee. Sometimes during the course of action, we might forget the main objectives and what are the 
main uh, targets that we're looking at. So we need to, between now and then, GDA to remind us on how to go the way forward. When do we need to apply that? Of course, immediately. Then why? So that we can reach to a solution for the lack of interest of the GDA members. Doability, yes, we can Time do that. Out. Time out. Akhir slide. Uh, by benchmarking GDA with regional and global organizations like JUPCA, JUPCA is Gulf uh, Petrochemical and Chemical Association. We can take like examples of that and try to build up uh, GDA to be more like them. The aspiration is, of course, from this. We are aspiring from the triangle to move to a circle where things are smooth, and we ensure that GDA, the members, and the committee members are all in synchronizations and making sure that we are going forward to achieve the given targets for us as members and GDA organization. Thank you very much. Yeah. I would like to invite uh, Marjan team. Marhaba. So 10,000 enough or you want more? Uh, I would like to thank our team, Zainab from Babco, Fahad from KMPC, Alok from Art, Tawfiq from Jacobs and myself from Advisors. So we have a value proposition to get a large number of participants in the conference and it's composed of five points. The first one is that the company is the client, not the individual. Meaning we have to make a value proposition to make it right for HR, learning development and executive business unit leaders to get their people to register. How and why? because there's networking, there's an introduction to new trends, and sharing of knowledge, more exposure, of course. The second thing is uh, we had a very nice experience with the Global Project Management Forum by PMI KSA. We wavered, there's no fee, and we got 6,000 registrations, 2,000 came. How did we make the, the cost? From sponsorship. So if we have more sponsorship, we can have lesser fees. Can we take off all the fees, we need to study it, maybe take a portion of it. But I believe it's more critical to get the mass rather than to get money out of the conference in terms of objectives. And what if we offered, for example, if not all for free, three to five seats to big companies, in that perspective, if they don't send these three to five free, they are losing the fees that we are offering to them. Then the third one, is to focus on international experts in each one of these six domains. Get a leader, get a Harvard author, get somebody, Nancy Ajram, no, okay? Get <laughs> re renowned authorities who are by one themselves minute. attractions when we start to make the marketing campaign in each one of these. But some of them need pay, fine. We, we ask sponsors to sponsor the session with the Harvard author. And for that sponsorship, we can offer the CEO of that sponsor a one-to-one -one fireside show, uh, talk with this Harvard author, for example. So it becomes a mutual uh, gain. Then the pre-conference master classes, let's add one day. We did that for free. How do we pay for the trainers? We don't. We ask GDA partners who offer training, each one to offer a 90-minute master class for free, and then we, you, you add a, a lot of value to the conference on the day before, only for those, of course, who register. The last idea is establish a marketing committee by the founding members who have to do a PR plan and ask partners, again, like PMI KSA, it's a partner. Time. If we ask them, thank you, if we ask them to consider this, their conference, they will bring us thousands of registrations and we have lots of partners, lots of exposure. Let's make good use of that. Uh, and doability, yes, it's doable. All these decisions in our hands. We can do them and we can get these numbers. Thank you. Take a <laughs> Next, the Gulf team. Assalamu alaikum. This is Nasr Shambri from Sator. I am representing uh, the Gulf team. Uh, we are Badr Al-Jazzaf from uh, Quebec, uh, Naseem Zainuddin from Aramco, uh, Hanan Saeed from Adnok, 
طارق الجيدابي فروم سامرث and Nasr al-Shamri from uh, Sator, myself. So uh, we chose the, uh, we selected the topic as a lack of commitment, as uh, we have uh, apparent uh, issue that uh, uh, limiting us to benefit from the uh, maximum benefit from the uh, technical committee. And uh, we, we have a solution which is GDA Excellence Award. It is very simple uh, uh, event that we can introduce and it will solve our issues. So if our board today accept it and we implement it, sure, inshallah, it will fix our issues. So uh, we have to have a, an annual event. It is an annual event that will uh, recognize the SMEs and their contribution to the uh, GDA uh, uh, technical committee. And uh, we have uh, identified criteria. It can be later uh, analyzed or to get the weight of these criteria. So the first one is to full, uh, uh, in order to get this uh, award, is to get the full participation, uh, uh, to, to get the full participation for the GDA Technical Committee. Once we get into the uh, GDA Technical Committee, we will get some points. Also, effective participation. This is uh, including presenting a challenge through the technical One committee, uh, sharing best practices, exploring and adapting these best practices in uh, the, uh, our companies, and sh sharing the benefit of these best practices implementation. And this will, uh, um, for this uh, event, uh, we have to, uh, we have proposed the recognition as GDA chairman recognition letter to the SMEs and their organization, which the, the, the organization itself will get the buy-in for the team to uh, and invest on them to work on this technical committee and uh, trophies and as well as uh, tangible uh, prizes. Uh, also, we recommend that we have uh, part, uh, appreciation letters for, for the participation. Even if they don't win, we get uh, recognized for their attendance on this technical committee and also for their organization to, again, to uh, get the buy-in for the organization to, to this team to work. Uh, the, the added value, promote GDA with the organization, increase the management support for SMEs and participation. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now I would like to invite uh, uh, Khaliji team. My name is Hamad Al-Naqbi and I'm from Adnik Refining. I have my colleagues, Mr. Ali Mohammed Karim from Babco, Mr. Hussein Ali from ABV, Mr. Abdul Rahman from Aramco and myself, Hamad from Adnik. And I would like to thank you everybody to allow me to speak and to present that on. Thank you so much. And we are from a Khaliji team. We chose that iconic name because our group contains Adnok, Babco, and Aramco. So, and the support that we already have, like Adnok, we have the, one, one of the largest, uh, most largest RFCC. Aramco, they have the Jazam Complex, and Babco, they have the BMP. Now we select one of the most, uh, what we saw that most important challenges that we are facing, which is lack of communication and patience of GDA members. And by the support of you, we can overtake that challenges. We propose these solutions, three solutions, and after these slides, we'll tell you how to address that one and how to do it. First one is the enhanced spokes SME engagement. Secondly is enhanced accountability. And last one is the motivation of the members. First one is the enhanced spokes SME engagement, which means we can Consider individual interests during the selection, which means each spokes and SME, they can freely check the criteria and nominate themselves. And then they can be evaluated by the members of uh, GDA. Secondly, introduce spoke KPIs, which means we can link, we can link the KPI of the spoke that if he, into, if he did the meetings, if he participate freely, and really we can recognize him through his KPI. Last one is reinstate host meeting at different facilities, which means we can have the quarterly meetings for different facilities. Like, for example, to, to Adnok, to Babco, to Aramco, that one. The second uh, solution we propose, the enhanced accountability, which means we can have the quarterly spoke SMEs engagement meetings 
to see what are the updates and what we can do for the next step. Second one is the aligned GDA responsibilities with individual yearly, which means objective that one. So SMEs and the spokes, their objectives can be linked with the GDA. For example, if you carry out meetings, papers, any abstracts, and he present a papers in front of the GDA, it can be linked with his objectives that can be recognized of. Then last one is the motivation, which means any spokes or SMEs who did something, who participate highly, he was high flyer, he was, he was high flyer, so he can be recognized and either by the GDA committee, by the board, and even the, on the website also. And last one, in addition to that one, he can be rewarded, which means if he did a very high things, so he can get a reward by having the points that much. Thank you so much and... Yeah, if you allow us for a few minutes, we'll make the final scoring. Meanwhile, I would like to invite uh, Mr. Bassam. Thank you very much, uh, KNPC Innovation Team. Um, I'm hijacking the program a little bit of agenda. And I know the importance of the time and uh, Mr. Tarek's uh, presence, and we would not like to delay you. So may I like to invite uh, our chairman and our secretary general and uh, Mr. Tarek on the stage, please. <laughs> uh, let's not kick the ball. <laughs> Uh, by the way, this this ball has been autographed by all the by teams. By all the team. And, ah. and Lubrev is going to take this. Ajib. <laughs> yeah. Is this on the stage or down? Uh, you want to come up? Do you want to? Yeah. Yeah. Better come up. Okay. <laughs> So, may I now request uh, our chairman, uh, Mr. Tariq, to give a token of appreciation to our chairman? And now may I request Mr. Tariq to give a token of appreciation to our Secretary General, Muhammad Al Shahrani. Thank you very much. And we will now please be seated and we will now announce the winners. Yeah. So while we are waiting for the results, I would like to invite our innovation team head, Mr. Bassam and Shamari from KNPC to give his observations of the whole day. Thank you three, very much. Uh, three minutes. No, uh, yes. <laughs> One minute. <laughs> Uh, today we are all one team, one vision, one objective. Thank you very much. We are all the winners today. Yeah, not uh, just to select the three, te three teams only, just to ask GDA to take the buy-in of these three ideas in order to be implemented, inshallah, by GDA. So the first three uh, ideas, just to be the the doability, you, you notice the doability there because of this. So this is what we are going to sell. In KNPC, last refinery, refinery thorn we did it last year, uh, we selected also three, 
But our top management, they told no, the team to be, need to, needs to be implemented, and they celebrate all the ten teams. Yeah. So this is what we did in Hackathon. We are waiting the result. I know there it will be at the end. We have to select three teams, but again, we are all one team. Thank you very much. What I am, as Bader mentioned, what I experienced, I experienced a lot of uh, hackathons in KNBC, in Kuwait, outside Kuwait, but really, really because of your rich experience, your rich knowledge, you connect together easily. I am seeing today that it's working is great within the few hours we did. And what we, we, what we just few minutes we saw here, it was great. Thank you very much for your help. As uh, now, uh, I, don't, I don't know, it's finished, we're still calculating. Ah, okay, so let's uh, Uh, before we get the result, just uh, uh, just want to say something for the team behind the scenes. Everyone who made it today, they showed commitment. Yes, we might lack a very high level of commitment, that's what we are looking for, but everyone who made it here today has the commitment. The second one, self-motivation. Everyone who participated in this exercise is self-motivated. And I'm really honored, honestly, to see this. And it is really a reflection of what CDA stands for. So thank you very much. Now, uh, for the third winner, we'll call the whole team. If they can attend. Usul Babku, the third place. Recognition as a group, huh? Yeah, as a group. Yeah, and uh, yes, and the second winner is golf team. Oh, golf team! Hey, you. Abu Muhammad, Nabi Tahiya, Yadi Hagel Farik Lawal Sarahi. Yes, the first team, the winner of this event, all of you are winners, will be Marjan team. Marjan team. Marjan team. Hi, hi.
شكرا يعطيكم العافيه ونبي نصفق حقنا كلنا مره ثانيه حق كل الفرق ما قصروا جزاكم الله خير يو ميك ا سكسس توداي ثانك يو فيري ماتش بس نبي الفريق المنظم بعد اذنكم صوره جماعيه فريق الكي ان بي سي وفريق بابكو المنظمين حياكم الله تفضلوا ممكن ممكن نصير كذي يعني اذا بعد اذنكم اذا اذا ال... ايه 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 تفضلوا حياكم فريق بابكو ما قصروا بابكو تطوعوا معانا ساعدوا فريق الكي ان بي سي في حياكم الله يسعدك وال حياكم حياكم اي اي فاطمه اي والجي دي اي كلهم بعد الجي دي اي هم اي حياكم حياكم Yeah. Can please stay. Please, please stay. Please stay. We want to facilitate our innovation team from KNPC, who worked since last three weeks tirelessly. And since morning today, in fact, the whole la last night, I was watching their WhatsApp going on to and fro. Midnight. Do this, do that, midnight, yeah. So can we invite Bassam and uh, Badr, Shaima, and Altaf? Please, four of you, come here. Yeah. Every everyone will get one. Everyone will get one. Yes. Yes. Their names are there. <laughs> Of course. What? Okay. 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 I'm thrilled to see the, the great interaction and the great really deliberation that every team had made. And as yeah, and it clearly said by uh, the innovation team, it's truly a pleasure to see uh, the amount of interaction that had taken place. And as clearly stated, everyone is a winner. I'd like to maybe comfort the team by two main areas of focus that we need to look at. One is which this whole thing is fairly a new concept to us. Uh, the concept of having all of us with either from different companies or from different even countries come together and, and have as much yeah, interaction and engagement, I think this is fairly unique. And the fact that we are doing it and the fact that we are seeing the results of it is a true indication of the talent and capability of everyone in our region. <clears throat> and for that reason, I will tell you, and I saw your uh, deliberation from every group, and it seems like you have a, a common thread, which is very comforting, to be honest with you, when you see everyone stating 
the lack of commitment and the lack of يعني, extra work that needs to be in GDA, that is a very good sign. It means that we are conscious of the areas that we need to focus on and we are willing to provide that extra effort to bridge the gap in the commitment. What I will tell you is don't be too hard on yourselves. We have had two bad years that we all have struggled with because of the COVID-19 and the exposure that we had to COVID-19 which prevented us from this interaction and this gathering. So don't be too hard on yourself. I am seeing the start of a, a very new and very encouraging trend that is leading, inshallah, into a much more engaged uh, talent workforce that we'll be able to see in the future. The second point I want to leave you with is the concept of volunteer work, the concept of doing something extra because it means something to you, is not, unfortunately, is not a common theme that we have in our society. You see that a lot in maybe more on different countries where voluntary work and work that is coming because of your interest in what you want to do. Somehow in our societies, يعني, we are only limiting it للحركات الخيرية, الإسلامية, نردنا نسميها, whatever. يعني we only look at it from that aspect. ولكن, يعني sharing knowledge, sharing information, sharing best practices among people is as critical and as important. And again, I see a lot are struggling with the fact that, well, how is this going to be accounted as part of my work? One thing that is very interesting, last week I was in a visit to Google, and it was interesting that they were saying, well, they give people 20% of their time to work on things of interest to them. Of course, it has to, at the end of the day, lead to the يعني, targets that the company is setting. And somebody else who was an insider of Google said, yes, they tell you 20%, but it's on top of the 100% they have to do. <laughs> and that confirms the word that there are 24 hours in the day, but there are the nights too. So that's the part that we need to يعني, maybe appreciate. When you have passion for something, I think it's important that you engage. And believe me, when you are interested, you will find the way and the time and the effort and the energy to invest in such things. What we see this afternoon is very encouraging. And I think it really works very well in the essence of the GDA. We are counting on you and your talent and your experience and your energy to drive the agenda of GDA, not because of GDA, but because it's critical to all of us that we sit together in a common environment where we can help each other through our shared experience and knowledge. Allah yaatikum al We thank you very much for the great work that you have done. Appreciate it.